Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the next episode of the Rusty Scale Show. In this video, I want to talk about the pilots. Well, not really the pilots, but the pilot figures included or not included in the plastic model kits. Because whenever I have a model kit on my workbench, which includes a pilot figure, you know, I start thinking if I should include it or not, especially if there's also the option to build it with open canopy especially and or if I also have a uh, PE set like with seat belts you know like yeah when you when you have the seat belts against pilot often I think it's the seat belts which are winning because yeah I mean those seat belts if you practice a bit and you apply it a few times you can you can put them you know you can assemble them halfway decent so it will look very good you will have a very good result it will look very cool um on the other hand like when you paint a, a pilot figure it's a bit more difficult it takes a bit more of an effort to get a decent looking pilot figure than to get decent looking um seat belts on a on a pilot seat so often i think you know the pilots are being skipped for the seat belts now what is your preference do you like to include the pilot figures? If there is one included in the kit, you will also include it in your build, or you better leave it out. Another thing is that when you when you build the model with um, landing gear out and it stands there and it has the, the, the canopy open, do you place the pilot there? Does that make sense even? You know, I mean, I don't know. I hardly see that, that somebody has a build with an open canopy and the pilot is there sitting in the pilot seat. Um, usually you have the pilot when the canopy is closed and you have it in wheels up position with retracted landing gear sitting on a stand you know it's like it's flying in the air and then you have the the pilot or the crew inside the aircraft which makes sense but you don't see this many times um, often if there's a pilot included uh, it could be from the aftermarket and it's a figure that stands next to the aircraft it's not you ha you know I don't know I don't know but I don't I hardly see people buy pilot figures in the aftermarket which are sitting in the pilot seat they usually stand there smoking a cigarette leaning on the aircraft or something like that it's a bit like PE seat belts versus pilot figures you know so maybe maybe it's kind of a it's kind of a old-fashioned to use the pilot I don't know um, because I hardly see this okay on the other hand um, a lot of the pilots they're not only weird looking, but from some manufacturers, if you compare the pilots from different kits, they're exactly the same. I mean, it's the same guy. It's always the same pilot. You get the feeling that it's always the same guy or the guy must have, you know, many twins or something. I also compare two pilots, like one of Airfix and one of Revel's pilots, and they look quite similar. Not exactly, but quite similar. I mean, yeah, I know what are the options uh, of a pilot sitting in the aircraft, but often they're looking like way down to their feet or they have a certain head popped on on the body which is looking very strange and um yeah i don't know okay a lot of air a lot of the most models i build are in 172 scale so figures in 172 scale is maybe not the easiest thing to do uh, and also to paint later but I mean it's possible it's not impossible and then I remembered that I saw a video about this some weeks ago and um, I was looking for it and I found it so let's have a look what um, Airfix says about pilots yeah because we don't always have pilots these days do we no, um, that's I don't know why why is this why I, like the I mean we start a big debate now Rich but uh, <laughs> yeah. there's a huge cost both in terms of sculpting new figures right. uh, tooling figures is, is very expensive okay. as well um, but for the enthusiast models and I know a lot of people are going to be shouting at me now uh, when you go around Telford a lot of the, the models the, the majority of them don't include the figures mm. so you know why would we go down this huge expense mm. and add cost um, yeah. to, to the product um, it, increase our payback time add to the uh, retail price point as well mm. for something that is not being used and I know the people out there that mm. do add pilots and want figures will be screaming mm. but th there is an aftermarket section for that so to try and keep the price of these down we've, yeah. 
Well, that's okay. If yeah. there's an aftermarket thing for it, then that's probably fine, isn't there it? There are, but you have yeah. to pay for it. But yeah. if we included them in every release, everyone would have to pay for it if you're not using it. So, mm. um, you know, we, we are yeah. still including figures. We, we yeah. have them with the Spitfire, though, yeah. have we? Uh, but we have the Buccaneer. Um, so that's one of the one of the reasons mm. there. So you heard what the guy said. It's like these are some obvious reasons, but I don't know if that would really raise the price of a plastic model kit if you have a pilot figure in included or not. I don't know, uh, especially since they seem to be looking the same and have same mother and father. I don't know. But also what he said, like you know, on on Telford or other exhibitions. I don't know uh, how many how many models of aircrafts you will be seeing there with the pilot figure sitting in the pilot seat. Usually they have dioramas with figures and stuff or they have like models only, like the only the aircraft. And there I don't see many pilots sitting in the seats. And um maybe it's a bit like I don't know the 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 pilot figures if included in the kit for the real like hobbyists and the aftermarket figures or whatever aftermarket products you want is more for the pros and they want to go as detailed as possible and everybody else is just like you know they want to have fun they want they want a quick easy build and maybe it's great fun to paint also figures it's great fun to add the pilot to the to the to the aircraft because i think it gives it adds a lot of personality it adds a lot of personality it's just that yeah often I also would like to go for the open canopy and the seat belt version. That that's the problem, but actually uh, nobody can deny that a figure adds a lot of personality to the build. Okay, quick break guys. Time out. I got to bring the girls up. They're sleeping. They need to go. I need to bring them to bed. They're already sleeping, but not where they should be sleeping. So <laughs> Now what is your preference? Do you like to include the um, pilot figures if there's one included in your in your model kit? Do you also include it in the build or do you leave it out? Now I did a little poll, a little survey here on YouTube and we have the results here. The actual results from right now is like 43% say yes, I always use the pilot figures when they're included in the kit. And 57% say no, it will join the other spare pilots because I didn't use it on the other plastic models I just recently built and I won't be using this one as well. So 57% of the people, um, they, they were saying like, yeah, I, they, I think, I think they rather prefer the seat belts, the open canopy version, the landing gear out, open canopy seat belts version. Maybe in future there won't be any, there won't be any pilot figures included in the kits itself. If you want to have something, you can go and buy it in the aftermarket. I don't know how many manufacturers nowadays when they bring out new toolings, new kits, really include pilot figures, which are, are a place to be in the pilot seat. I don't know how many out there are, um, and I don't mean the reboxes and the old kits and stuff, I mean the new toolings, the brand new toolings. Do they still, do they still produce this? Sitting pilots to place in the seat? Or what do you think? Should they still produce this? Or could they might as well leave it and you know, maybe use more attention to some other details like the engine details or just the surface details in general. What is your opinion? What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Do you love to paint the pilots or you rather use a PE seatbelt set instead? And I mentioned the female pilots in one of my earlier videos. And hey, what about the pilots? Where are the female pilots, please? Why on earth are all the pilot figures males? Shouldn't there be any female pilots? I mean, wouldn't it be cool if a manufacturer, you know, gave out a kit with a special version of a female um, ace pilot, you know? A special because there were some, I know there were some, so why not do this? It would be a cool change, just for a change. I mean, I'm not saying that all the pilots should look like women, but why not do this for a change? Just to have a change instead of the same guy. The poor guy, man, he has to sit in all the, he has to sit in all the models, man. 
he is so busy bro, so give him a break and maybe you could do a female ace pilot in one kit. Why not? That's just a three million dollar idea, man. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying what it is, you know? That's my nature, I can't help it. Or you have examples of bomber aircrafts. They would have a crew of three people or four people, but included in the kit there were only two. Because there are also some, I don't know, tiny small kits of, I don't know, some armor kits or something, and they are including the entire crew. So if you have a huge bomber, why not include the accurate number of pilots, of people, to operate and navigate the aircraft? What do you think? Is that of any importance? Or am I the only one breaking my head? Should I include the pilot or not? And um, open canopy or not? Seat belts or pilot, pilot or seat belts? What is more important? Does that make any sense? Having um, the landing gear down, having the a canopy open and the pilot is still sitting there. I don't know, maybe he's just starting up the engine, right? Maybe he's just starting up the engine, checking all the system, the instruments. Well, who knows? I mean, that happens, right? That happens. Does it make sense or not? What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your opinion. Let me know if you build your pilots or not. If you just throw them or what are you doing with it because I'm overthinking it as always I'm overthinking it